Hey, Jeff Howard here at kiteboarding.com, and we're always looking to get the new information to you. Now, what am I holding here? A pump. Just another kite pump, right? Well, over all the years of being into this sport, pumps have not changed. I was curious when someone was going to invest the money and design a really nice, much cleaner pump, more durability, easier to pump, etc., etc. Don't we always want that? Well, this is the ozone pump model of this. There are other brands who have also gotten into this pump. Now, what I wanna to talk to you about is how unique it is and little things that they did change. You know how the foot things, when you're standing on them, and they're always straight, and I've seen these break off, now they've got them angled back in the direction of where you are putting your feet on one side of the pump. Now, the other thing is they've come in here and they beefed up the handles. How many of these handles I've seen break in here? Unreal. They've done some beefing up in here. The handles have some ergonomic to them, whatever that helps. But what I like about it is it adds more plastic and it makes this pump last longer. Number two is a filter. So much sand is up in these things and that's what can destroy a pump so fast and so quick. So what they have here is the in the integrated uh, gauge, air gauge, instead of it hanging off the front and getting knocked off, it's integrated into the handle as, and it has, you can see the foam in here. This is where the air intakes into the pump. That will decrease, not eliminate, but it can decrease the amount of sand or dirt or anything else of grime that enters inside of the pump and it starts to wear out the inside of the walls of the pump. And that makes the seal stop working as much. A lot of people have these questions, why is my pump doing this and that? Keeping them clean is what you should do. But what I really like about it is they've done a great job on these pumps. The prices def have definitely gone up, but you get something good, you're gonna get a quality, you're gonna have to pay for it. Now the other thing that's really cool is the volume. This tube looks the same size. It is not. It is slightly larger, and that slight large lets that air move a lot faster. As you can get the other pumps, and sometimes it takes a little longer, small diameter in here because there is some internal piping in here decreases the airflow so this is slightly increased in here which is really nice now they've also gone into the hose it's not just the cheapest little hose they have beep, beefed up this plastic hose which is really nice i like that because the other ones will kink and they'll break very easily and the fittings start to come out well now they've got some nice universal hose fittings on the end Here's some other universals down here. So you got your Cabrina, your standard uh, large Boston, your standard nine mil, seven mil, whatever you want to inflate. So they're all on here. They've done a great overall job. So if you're in the market to get a new pump and you haven't purchased that new kite that does have this pump with it, well, here you are. This is a great addition. If you're looking to upgrade, throw out that old pump from last year or years past and jump up and move up. These are fantastic. This is the Ozone pump. This is the new 2016 pump, as well as you'll see some other manufacturers. But again, it is an upgrade. It's a fantastic deal. If you have any questions about it, Jeff Howard here at KiteBrain.com to keep you in the news.